This is a 12 volt car refrigerator freezer from a company called Bodega. They're an Amazon seller that has all sorts of awesome car refrigerator freezer combos and they sent me this one to check out for you guys. I will link their Amazon page in the description below if you want to check that out. But let's take a closer look at this bad boy. I'll start off by saying I've been using this refrigerator for the last three weeks of my Suburban and it's awesome. Now this particular one is a nine core model so let's equate that to water bottles. So as it sits here, I have seven regular 16.9 ounce water bottles in there. That may not seem like a lot, but of course, depending on what you have, you can pack a whole bunch of different stuff in here. Now these weren't designed just to be a really awesome car refrigerator, but also to act as an entire set of console for vehicles that don't already have one, like minivans. Let me show you what I mean. Well, first off, it's 12 volts, so you can literally use it for any vehicle. And the power cord's roughly 300 feet long, so you can plug it in anywhere in your car that you need. This features a nice leather armrest that says Bodega. Empty, it weighs about 20 pounds, so very easy to maneuver. It's got two USB ports in the back here, so you can plug in and charge anything you need. Because if you only have one power plug in the back of your vehicle like me, the two USBs will really come in handy. It also has a third USB port right here in front, which has this rubber cover, which prevents damage from spilling drinks or anything like that up there. Pretty good design right there, man. The QI charger right up front is a huge plus and will work with any phone that fits in there. And you got four buttons on top here. You have your power and you have your temperature up and down. And then you also have the settings button which you use to pair your phone because there's an app for this. And if you do download the app for this, you can turn the machine on or off and set the temperature just from your phone. Pretty cool. Another cool feature here is it comes with a mounting bracket that this unit actually slides in and off of. You can mount this to the floor of your vehicle, so if you have to remove the fridge, you can remove it in and out and it won't slide anywhere. However, I didn't mount this to my car, but this base really helps it from sliding around. It stays put nicely. Now here's some footage of me actually using this in my vehicle so you can see what it looks like being used in a vehicle. This is my Chevy Suburban, and as you can see, the unit fits beautifully in between the central bucket seats. Here's a view from behind. As you can see, it fits perfectly right there, and you have those two USB ports for the passengers in the third row. The nice thing about having the charging pad on the front of the unit also is when you're driving, you can just stick your phone right back here and not have to worry about looking at it while you're driving. All right, we're gonna fire it up right now. The digital readout says it's 72 degrees. Clock says it's 502. We'll check back in 20 minutes and see what it says. All right, so we're about 20 minutes later, and the gauge says 40 degrees, so not bad for 20 minutes of runtime. And here's a view from the front. You see you have the controls clearly right there. You have your phone charger in pretty close reach. And if your kids are old enough, which mine are not, they could reach it as well. And I gave it just a couple more minutes. And the digital readout says 34 degrees. So not bad, less than 30 minutes to take it from 72 to 34. So my final take on this, I think it's a really great machine with a lot of cool features and I've really enjoyed using it for the past couple weeks. Again, I will link this product in the description below if you want to check it out. But as for always, thank you guys for watching.